All right, so this is my introduction to the whole Outlifting Addison's channel. And basically, I mean, I, I tend to be a pretty long-winded person. That's something my my friends especially know. I'm more of a writer, like I'll write things down and uh, edit out two-thirds of what I wrote and then send it. So I'm going to try to keep this non-long-winded um, but yeah, so the point of this whole channel is I want it to be a place where Addisonians can, and yes, that's, that's what we're called, Addisonians. I know it sounds weird, but anyway, where we can come together and kind of just share stories of how we're, I want to say this correctly, like how we're still operating optimally, if that makes sense. Basically how our own quality of life is still what it was before Addison's, or maybe even better. Um, and the better part probably wouldn't be just because of Addison's, it would be because of life lessons you learned through Addison's, I suppose. So yeah, that's what I want this to be. I don't want it, I don't want it to really be about me. I mean, I'm willing to share my, my story, my opinions, um, the research that I'm aware of. I'm totally willing to share that, and I and I would hope most Addisonians would be, because we're all we're all kind of stuck in this together. Um, but I don't want it to be just about me. I want it to be okay. This is all of us as a collective to some degree, and we're trying to to move forward to advance all of our understanding of our condition and uh, therefore to just improve our own quality of life and also have a relatively strong network that somebody who's newly diagnosed with Addison's um, so have a network that they can come to and see like okay I mean I know that Addison's is a big setback um, but how have other people adapted to it um, because for me, honestly, whenever I was first diagnosed, diagnosed with Addison's, it was about nine months ago, and all, I mean, nothing against my endocrinologist, the first one, well, the very first person who met me in the hospital, but she just gave me a really, a, a piece of paper with like, I don't know, five or ten bullet points on what Addison's was, and it wasn't too in-depth. Which is fine. It gave me a very basic idea, but I'm a pretty research-oriented person, so I started researching it. <laughs> so I looked up a lot of PubMed articles, which you should totally do. It's PubMed's where it's at. Um, P U B M E D dot com, and look up pretty much everything they have about Addison's disease. That's going to be primary research. It'll show you what doctors what experiments doctors have done and what they found. Anyway, so yeah, I was looking up PubMed and uh, also I was looking up forums by by people with Addison's and there's some really good ones, but one of the first ones I found was, as I was looking up, somehow I got on the subject of Addison's and exercise because I'm, I'm pretty interested in exercise science type of stuff. And yeah, whatever. So I was looking at that and there were a lot of people and they're all in agreement that they used to be very fit and active. Um, mentally, they used to feel good. Um, they used to be like emotionally stable and stuff. And then they got Addison's and they're like, yeah, I used to be a good person. I used to like have a job that I liked. Uh, I used to have a significant other who loved me. Uh, I used to be in shape, and I don't have anything, anything of that. Like it all fell away. Like I basically, they talk about how they they become fat, they become depressed, uh, lost their job. Like yeah. So I'm looking at that. And I'm like, whoa. I mean, I thought this just meant that I couldn't make cortisol and aldosterone. So how does no cortisol and aldosterone translate to totally sucky life? Um, and so that's what I try to figure out. And I've since like seen 
employment statistics that that show that I mean Addisonians are significantly more likely to be unemployed and to be depressed, which I, I think is understandable. I mean, you're definitely knocked down, kind of kicked while you're there <laughs> with Addison's, and especially like if you're misdiagnosed at first, which thankfully I wasn't, but I've, I've read a lot about people like, doctors like, no, you're just stressed, you're depressed, um, stop being so stressed and depressed. And then eventually, and they, uh, hopefully figure it out. I've also seen things where they don't figure it out, which is super sad. But the point here is I I want to have some sort of network where new Addisonians, or I don't know, maybe just people who are struggling with Addison's, where they can come and look and see other people with the same disease. So we've gone through the same struggles uh, we all understand that medication dosing sucks. We all understand that cutting pills every freaking day sucks. Um, we know what you're going through. Like, I want to have that, where there's this network of, I don't know, hundreds, thousands of people, and they all know what you went through, know what you are going through. And they can be like, yeah, just stick it out, and here's pointers A, B, and C for how you can stick it out better. And, um, yeah, so just things like that. So sort of a support group, but not just some like really dumb one where it's like, I don't know, actually I don't want to go into examples of that because I tend to kind of criticize, but I want to do that. But basically I, I want it to be like substantial, um, to, to make this constructive, <laughs> like I want it to be a substantial help given to new Addisonians, you know? So it's not like oh, well, just keep your head up, it takes uh, more muscles to frown than it takes a smile, so you should smile. I don't want that. Like, if somebody said that to me, I'd be like, yeah, but tell me how to dose my cortisol, dude. Like, that's what I'm struggling with. And once I figure that out, I won't be so freaking depressed, and then I can figure out, like, then I can make other parts of my life gradually better, better, so I don't have to remember how many muscles it takes to smile. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what I mean by con just a, a more constructive approach rather than just the whole kind of mindless high five type of thing. I want it to be a, a substantial high five. <laughs> All right, probably too long for an introductory video. Um, but yeah, to come, I do want to talk about like a lot about research um, and then go over what Addison's disease actually is. Uh, sometime I'll get onto my my own little story just so that I don't know if somebody's having the same symptoms maybe they can check it out although I, if you're self-diagnosing yourself with Addison's you're probably wrong only like one out of a hundred thousand people have Addison's but you never know I mean there is that whatever tiny percentage chance that is um, but yeah so just share my story like okay what I went through and what all of us have gone through essentially is something comparable to that. And after that, I really don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching, dudes.